May I ask Prime Minister whether he will consider favourably on the request by many Singaporeans to name our airport after Mr Lee Kuan Yew. Was it not Mr Lee Kuan Yew who decided to relinquish Paleba Airport and to change to Changi in the mid-1970, in spite of the consultants at the time not recommending it, and in spite of a reluctant cabinet because of the cost of relocating, plus the loss of the $800 million investment already put on Paleba Airport, Thus, the naming of this will remind generations to come on Mr. Lee's always forward-looking vision, plus the good value of bearing short-term pain for long-term gain. I would also like to ask Prime Minister whether he's in agreement that a strong Singapore currency associated with a successful Singapore is a legacy attributable, attributable to our first Prime Minister, Mr Lee Kuan Yew, who built a successful nation based on what he said earlier, meritocracy, uh, multiracialism, inequitable, incorruptibility and a fair and just society. Thus, by having his picture on our currency notes will remind present and future generations on his important fundamental principles that have worked for us as we handle the notes each day. Thank you. Uh, Madam Speaker, as I try to explain in my statement, I think these are all sensible proposals, but I hesitate to make decisions on them now. It's two weeks three, since the state funeral. It's three weeks since Mr. Lee passed away. I think we need some time to pass. We need to have some overall sense of perspective and history. And then there's time enough for us to make these commitments and decisions to honour him, not just in the next few months, but really in the next few decades. I think if you look at how other countries do it when they have uh, people who have made a big mark in their history pass away. It, you, you, you have, in the hometown, perhaps straight away, a street is named after you. But on a national basis, a memorial maybe 50 years later, maybe 70 years later, maybe uh, several generations later, and then your position, your, your historical place is clear and emerges perhaps in sharper focus, and we know what's, if you're only going to do one thing, what is it which you want to do? And then we, we do that. So I think we take some time. Uh, Mr. Lee had a lot to do with Changi Airport. He had a lot to do with our having a currency which is worth the paper on which it is printed. Uh, he had a lot to do with many other things too, the Singapore River, the greening of Singapore. Uh, so if we want to name things after him, there's no shortage of things which are suitable. So I would say, take our time. Let's focus in the first instance on this idea of how should we remember our founders, not just Mr. Lee, but the core founding fathers of the country. And that in itself is a major exercise. So I think we should do that. And then over the years, there will be anniversaries, there will be birthdays, there will be 100th birthdays. And we will come back to this and we will look at it again. And at that point, I'm sure these, sub these ideas, in Dr. News and others, will still be there. And perhaps by then we will be a bit more ready to say, yes, we go.